Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the B-Link GTI 11 Mini PC. We will be unboxing it, taking a close look at the features, then running some benchmarks to see how well this Intel powered mini computer works. First we have the B-Link GTI 11 which we will take a closer look at shortly. Underneath is a user guide which is in multiple languages including English, German, Spanish and Italian. There is a power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country when ordering from Joix. There's two HDMI cables. One is shorter and is useful if you are mounting the mini PC. And last but not least are the mounting plates and the screws to mount it. Plus there is a pack of screws for securing a 2.5 inch R drive or SSD inside the mini PC. The B-Link GTI 11 measures around 6.6 by 4.7 by 1.5 inches and weighs 753 grams. On the top there is a fingerprint sensor for fast and secure logging into Windows. On the front is a power button and two USB Type-A 3.0 ports. There is a 3.5mm headphone jack and a USB Type-C port. On the back are two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports for fast data transfer. There is a HDMI and display port for dual monitor support. You can also use the USB Type-C port for a third display. There are two USB 3 and two USB 2 ports to connect any peripherals to. The four screws on the back of the case can be removed in order to access the internals. You can upgrade both the RAM and the SSD. There is space inside to install a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. The B-Link GTI 11 features the Intel i5 1135G7 processor which has 4 cores and 8 threads. It has the Intel Iris XE graphics running up to 1.3GHz. There's 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM which can be upgraded to 64 gigs. It comes with 500 gigs of M.2 SSD storage and this can be upgraded to 1TB. For wireless communications there is Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. It comes with Windows 10 installed and this can be upgraded straight away to Windows 11 if you want to at no cost. As always we start the benchmarks with Passmark which pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum performance. The B-Link GTI 11 scores 3125 which is a good score. Breaking down the test we can see above average scores for the CPU and RAM and well above average for the storage speed. PC Mark is more of a real world scenario series of tests that include web browsing, image editing, media consumption and much more. The GTI 11 scores 4623 which is a decent score. We can see that across the essentials tests it scores very well with tasks such as booting up and software loading speeds. This extends to the productivity and digital content creation tests with good scores across those. The scores show that the mini PC is ideal as a home or office mini PC that can handle demanding tasks such as working with large documents or image editing for example. Next we are running 3 d Mark, which tests the CPU and GPU working together for their performance. We got a score of 1075 which is an ok score. It's far from being the highest score, but keep in mind this is not a dedicated gaming mini PC. We start the game benchmarks with Forza Horizon 5. We are running at 1280x720 on the very low graphic settings. We get a final score of 42 frames per second, 
For this specification of PC, it is not a bad score at all. You can set the frame rate to 30 and enjoy some quality racing just fine. Next, we are running Street Fighter V benchmark at 1280x720 on the maximum graphic settings. We are running the first match of the benchmark and seeing the average FPS at the end of the match. We get an average frame rate of 42.16 which is fine. By lowering the graphics to medium quality for example, you can enjoy 60 FPS with no issues. In our Final Fantasy XIV benchmark test, we are running at 1280x720 on the highest quality settings. We get a final score of 3835. Again, like Street Fighter V, you can lower the graphics quality to medium and definitely enjoy the game at a stable 60 FPS. We finish the benchmarks with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is running at 1280x720 on the lowest graphic settings. We get a final score of 34 frames per second. This is quite a demanding game, but you could set the frame rate limit to 30 FPS and the game would be playable with some occasional frame drops in very busy scenes. A brief summary of the benchmark results for the B-Link GTI 11. Overall, the system benchmarks are great scores for a mini PC. It was made for the purpose of a high performance work and home mini PC and it excels at that. With the fast 11th generation Intel CPU and high performance RAM and storage, you can be assured that you will have no waiting around. This includes fast software loading time, saving large office documents and no lag when editing images for example. While it is not a gaming mini PC, it does do a fair job of playing games. You will have to lower the resolution and graphics quality on demanding games though. But there are plenty of less demanding games which play very well, such as Streets of Rage 4 which is running at the moment at a solid 60 frames per second on ultra graphic settings. The B-Link GTI 11 is a high performance mini PC which is suitable for both in the office or at home. Its primary use is for work with support for up to triple monitor display, fast dual ethernet and Wi-Fi 6 for easy and secure data transfer. There is enough performance for some light video gaming as well. That wraps up our review of the B-Link GTI 11 Mini PC. We hope you have found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already as it really does help to grow this channel. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next video.